Heather Axel Phillips with rawbayarea.com. I teach raw food cooking classes all across the San Francisco Bay Area through Whole Foods, Cafe Gratitude, and other premier menus. Today, you have a Thanksgiving treat in store. We're going to be making the mashed notatoes. This is wonderfully paired with any type of raw vegan gravy. Wavy gravy is one recipe that I have up on my website in my November newsletter. Another gravy I'll be introducing you to, do, to today is raw pumpkin seed oil. So let's begin. The chief ingredient of today's recipe is the celery root. You can buy celery root from any grocer and if they don't carry it you can always ask them. Literally celery root is the root of the celery. You can see that here. We'll be just taking off the bottom bowl. If you don't have access to celery root, you can always make this recipe with cauliflower. It tastes quite good, or even jicama. Some of the other ingredients will have macadamia nuts, Irish moss, which I'll talk to you about in a moment, light miso, onion powder, and salt. So cut off the top of the celery and save it. It makes a really wonderful juice. I have a vegetable scraper here. You can get it at Target or Sur La Table or almost any place. And I love it because it helps me keep my um, cutting board nice and clean. Then you're going to shave off the thick peel of the celery root. That'll expose the white inside. You can see why celery root would be really good for anything that would be a potato substitute because it's got the same color and the same texture. It has a really wonderful flavor. Once you've got the peel off, cut it in half, taking the palm to the blade with your fingers up and work the knife around and down, cutting it in half. For the mashed notato notatoes, all you need is a rough chop. Nothing very complicated. You're going to be throwing this into the food processor with all the rest of the ingredients. So you'll put it aside. The smaller you chop before you put it in the food processor, the more quickly it will go through the machine. But a rough chop is just fine. To make Irish moss paste, because you'll need about a quarter of a cup for this recipe, take a quarter cup of Irish moss, just like this, stuff it into your measuring cup to make sure that it's tightly packed, and then put it in a powerful high-speed blender with about a cup of water. Then you're going to blend it on high for a couple of minutes because you want it to be absolutely smooth. At first, the Irish moss would be chunky in the blender, but after a while, and maybe after you scrape down the sides of the blender, incorporate all of the mixture very well, it'll come out smooth, and it'll look something like this. This color, or perhaps even a little bit lighter, depending on your source for Irish moss. This will keep for about 10 days in the fridge if you keep it in a glass jar. Then the last ingredient is water, about a third of a cup of water. So let me quickly review the quantities. Two and a quarter cups of peeled and chopped celery root or cauliflower, a quarter cup of macadamia nuts, a tablespoon of white miso paste, a teaspoon of onion powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of Irish moss paste, and a third of a cup of water. This is my favorite miso, the sweet white miso from South River. They make their miso in very small, handcrafted batches, and I think it just tastes delicious. We're going to put all of the ingredients here in the food processor, and then we're going to blend it on high. chunky and it looks like rice. That's okay, but it's not going to taste very good. Blend it until it's absolutely smooth. Every once in a 
a while, you'll need to stop and take your spatula to the sides. You can add the water at the beginning or like I'm doing, adding it a little later, it doesn't matter at all. Now I'm going to continue to wipe the sides down to incorporate everything. Before you dump the whole concoction out, taste it. You want to make sure you're happy with it. Mmm. It's great. I'm going to give it a little more. Thanksgiving is in a couple of days. Make your Thanksgiving successful by showing up with a couple of dishes that you know that you are absolutely going to enjoy. This year, I'm bringing to my family dinner an entirely raw feast. We'll be having stuffing, cranberry relish, mashed potatoes, Waldorf salad, and even pumpkin pie, all raw. I know my family isn't even vegan, but they love the food that I make. why this takes a while to blend is because the celery root is hard and we want the macadamia nuts to be completely incorporated. They're going to help bring some fat to the recipe. All right. So to get the mashed potatoes out of the machine, hold on to the bottom blade and then use your spatula to take it out. If you want to have this warm, there's two things that you can do. One is to put it in the dehydrator at about 110 degrees. I like to put it up a little bit high so that the food warms more quickly and doesn't have any chance to ferment. But I wouldn't leave it for more than two hours. Another way you can heat the mashed potatoes is actually on the stove top. Put it in the stove top and at a very, very low temperature, the lowest it will go in the pan, and just stir it, stir it, stir it. Don't stop stirring it until it's become a little bit warmer than your finger. That way it'll be warm, which is really wonderful, way after Thanksgiving, in the middle of January and February when it's absolutely freezing outside, you'll be having something that will be warm in your belly but will have retained all of its nutrients, all of its enzymes, all of its vitality. Now, check this out, pumpkin seed oil. It's organic and it's raw. The Rainbow Grocery here in San Francisco is carrying it these days and so is Whole Foods. It is an absolutely wonderful gravy when you don't have time or the inclination to make one of your own. It tastes so delicious. So that's the recipe. Five minutes or under, mashed potatoes. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. See you soon at rawbayarea.com.